Beano Black here, ladies and gentlemen, and folks, we have the Antarctic is melting, and we have way more than one sun. Proof fact, fresh picture, and you do know what more than likely weather company map this is. Also, they use our tax dollars because basically all this satellite action is basically government funded your tax dollars to begin with anyway, and then they pay their rights and their money to use that information. Okay, This is all done for educational purposes because I am an educator. I am telling you and showing you the truth as we see a virus try to come in and take over the show. It ain't going to happen. All right, so fires burning around the world, chemtrails, and we know that if you have a brain and go to some of the channels that we talk with in each other, uh, i.e., the, fire, the chief and the eagle flies high in North America and all the time. If you pay attention to some of my videos, my early ones, showing you the idea that mankind's been around for a hell of a friggin' long time. Okay? The earth is hella warm, folks. Australia's got fires everywhere. Over in China, there's fires. Africa's burning. Parts of Italy, north of Italy and stuff like that. Chemtrailing works. Air conditioning. Whether we like it or not, it works. Okay, so, ring of fire, earthquakes, we know about that, okay? If you've watched my latest videos, we show what the scientists are looking at up at Antarctic and at south of Australia here, and basically that's all the action going on, uh, a lot of it, okay? This darkness is, yes, there is melting going on in masses down there. Okay, it is hot down there. There's a hell of a lot of snow. The Antarctic is humongous. It may never melt completely, but there is a lot of melting. Okay, this is a recent shot. Uh, and if you notice that they've changed the color on the ocean and a lot of other the graphics. Uh, I'm going to see if go down here and see if I can zoom in by the end of this video. Because basically we have some very interesting stuff to show you from down in the Antarctic at the webcams. If you've seen my last video and also here, we will show you more than one sun. Okay, i.e. beautiful picture from Casey recently. Space coming into our atmosphere. Yes, it bleeds through <coughs> very smallly, but yes. <coughs> awesome. <coughs> Aurora Borealis. Positive, negative, and uh, electrical magnification and CMEs and solar flares from also from the super giants if you look at the idea of the one video I've got and basically we got the meteors asteroid belts whatever you want to call it close by uh, double flyby alert on China space labs and satellites are coming around they're gonna be bringing one of their satellites back uh, we got more solar blasts, i.e. watch one of my last half dozen movies and you will see some great footage from the 12th through the 14th of the solar CMEs, so forth. Uh, solar erupted my ass, that damn thing has been farting its ass off. Sun is going crazy, there's probably maybe a super giant passing over it, rolling around it or hitting it. Uh, Asteroid parallax flybys, people are getting on space weather and so forth and so on. And just went this real fast so that you could see also the most important thing is if we listing the 64 or something like that or the close object, and that's the deal. On the 20th, folks, we're going to have a close object. Let me go to RSOE if I can bring that up real fast and show you that. So as we sit and disagree with NASA's horse hockey that the idea there's nothing going wrong, and basically everybody in the world should be paying attention to what's going on in space, because this once in a lifetime stuff's going on. So we're going to go down to uh, Australia, and we've seen the Casey webcam pictures here real fast, the idea that there's a lot of stuff there. We might be able to see something there at the movies and again, but I do know we have something down here. So if we go down to the webcam of the ship action, and hopefully I still have it in this video here, bring this up. So this plays real fast. Let me put it back in the front. And now halfway through here, and even right here at the beginning, but you're halfway through this thing we'll see on the timeline here, the down here, because it doesn't really block anything. And you can't play with this like you can on Java Player and stuff like that. So I think you got a little glimpse there, and there it is. And you're going. I'm going to be able to hopefully freeze this and show you how many objects are between here and the suns that we got. And you're getting a good idea, because this is not a movie premiere uh, with skylights. Throwing it and trying to advertise a new movie coming out. 
It is Mother Nature in space. As a matter of fact, I'm going to stop that and basically go back real fast. Now watch all this. It looks like searchlights, right? Well, it's not. It's the more than one sun up in the sky flashing down at Earth, and that's not the aurora action, okay? We're not getting a show from the positive-negative coming down from, well, in a sense it is because it is light travel from the, the stars, I mean, moons, planets, and the light from the supergiants coming down at night. Now, what? I'm going to want really fast and so I can get my take on this, folks. And it's not a take. It's the truth. It's fact, okay? This is sped up, and you will see it look like spotlights coming around, okay? And then halfway through this video, see those spotlights that are basically in the middle of the dark when it's, see that? That is sun getting bounced and reflected off planets between here and the supergiants because that's not the sun, okay? So now halfway through here, you're going to get a good x-ray shot, Mother Nature in space and everything, spirits or whatever the hell is going to show us every goddamn thing here in a minute. Halfway through this, you're going to see more than one sun, basically some suns from the supergiants, and, and I don't even know the time yet until we get to it and freeze it, but halfway through here, massive objects coming over, giving you the shadow there got government control and people worried about monies and markets falling apart and shit like that emailing me and says oh there's not even a shadow on top of the building and everything like that and you're just full of it well i'm not full of nothing basically showing everybody pictures and data i don't try to give you guys a mind game throwing uh, people in tinfoil suits out in front of the nehemiah station trying to fake you out making you think that the idea that the government's doing some kind of basically yeah somebody big money or something or government is doing some trying to control what you think by making you think that there's some kind of alien bullshit and stuff like that with radioactive suits and stuff like that. And yes, you look at the ground and whether the scientists down there were paid to pull off that bullshit with that other guy's videos or whether somebody superimposed it out of some kind of makeshift or even their home computer and stuff like that and trying to pose that there is no footprints in the snow there, okay? And there is your baby Kachina or whatever the hell is. And those are the hairs there to the the left on this shot that you will see in that shadow of one of my actually it was that was the last movie before this and i think i just uh, massive objects down at antarctica again or something like that is my title it's the one before this movie okay so there it is and then that's not the astonishing we've seen that plenty of before but it's still astonishing okay so they catch it there on the deal but halfway through here on this footage it seemed, at least it seemed like it was halfway through in this footage or this is the one that I'm going to have to, oh, I missed it. I'm wondering if what I got seen was taken away. So this is basically what I showed you last night. Okay, so I got to go find the other one. The personnel carrier is going to show us what we want to see. So thank goodness it's still up, folks. And this is one that they titled the personnel carrier, in which I know that they pretty much, you can still see that there's oil barrels down there and stuff like that. So they still carry materials back and forth. But this is the one that they use. And there you saw the baby blue kachina. If you could slow that down and everything like that. And I'm not too worried about that right now. Let's freeze this in the middle here when we get up to what we want to see. You're going to see these in the middle of the night and stuff like that. There's our, and now... I can't really stop it and go back to that, but you're going to see there is one of the supergiants or an object getting lit by the supergiants again. And that basically is a supergiant or light out in the supergiants coming in. Not our sun, okay? So we're going to get, if I can freeze it here, images. There you go. That is an awesome shot. Check all those night lights, search lights, and it's not night lights, search lights. It's space and objects in the supergiants in the middle of the night there's a short little period of nightness that they get down there in the antarctic all right it is not a computer glitch not a photo no one's playing with anything the only thing i can't remove is i can't remove their play button from whatever player that this is so there is a awesome shot of the idea that there is more than one sun because basically you've got like three and you're in, in a second here you're going to see more and I'm going to basically come back to this but well, let's let's hit this play and I'll p play and pause try to freeze as much as I can. Check that out. That's how crowded it is and how much the sun gets bent before it gets here out of the super giants. Okay, and possibly in the future it's going to happen to our sun. We have Rigel Cantaris B in front of their sun right now in the supergiants. Isn't that impressive, folks? Now, you can watch the clock. I'm not going to edit and shit talk that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back this back up to the beginning of this and play this real fast. 
Okay, so you can play with this at home and on your Java player when you're playing this movie back, you can slow all this down and freeze it and you will see the baby blue kachina or whatever you want to call it, the brown dwarf star basically just came by the sun there on this and this is basically time lapse footage and you can play with it on your player at home and freeze it and see exactly what I'm seeing. There is no cutting pasting, there is no playing with you, you can see that nothing is superimposed and there's all that action. Is that not a, a keyhole into space there folks down in the ocean off of this carrier off of the Australian Antarctic Division and uh, I apologize for not having a clock I'm gonna put the clock up and play this one more time real fast okay so let me play it back through again and you'll see the clock this time I apologize that it's noticed that I didn't have it on the deal and here you go you're gonna see the clock with the same action we just saw here will be coming the baby blue the dwarf star or whatever in front of the Rival Camp Terrace B just went by there, and as you see the clock fly, and me talk fast, and we'll jump, try to jam as much data as we can in here real fast. Probably be another video today of being able to see the look. Now there, here he goes. Oh, what a nice shot that is to show us the truth of everything that's crowded out there in space. And if you watch my last half dozen, you'll see the massive solar weather that we're getting from the super giants, folks. So watch all my movies and let's see what we got for time here right now we have earthquakes we've got a heavy concentration in Alaska they had a 4.4 and a bunch of after tremors so that's pretty much up to date 157 p.m. central time 11 16 2011 okay and basically we still have what we see up there on stereo core 2 still getting close to the sun the sun's still farting his ass off on the 16th uh, Last half dozen, I've got a nice movie of the idea of that action going on. Uh, we have a thinness where right now for quakes, still over a case of Chile. We get an action today, and I think I've seen where Chile had an action today. And the idea that there we are off our axis on Antarctica, and we are somewhat centered at this time right now on the North Pole. So Earth is constantly moving and not just rotating. Recent Lasco that they didn't want you to see right there, that action, so that's where you want to look at it on Soho, so let's take a look at that. Okay, without me blowing this up real fast, here's some recent shots. You see the times, I don't even have to dictate that. So, once again on the 16th, we are flaring like a mofo again. And it basically did, but it did calm down a little bit on the 15th. Just a little bit, okay? So there's lots of shots on the 16th again because the idea that they were, so someone probably can put this into a movie or has put this into a movie. You basically do now because I do, you can fast forward and stop and freeze this that I scroll through that. And somewhat as an example, you can see that the government doesn't let you see that that one little flare spot, okay? They do give us the footage and we have to go to private places that look at the footage and show you that. So that little red thing that's down, you know, we, we pretty much know what it is down there. Okay, I was able to blow that up. So here we go with some blowed up shot. Let's go scroll through there real fast. See what we see. And as you, I noted in the movie, in the last half dozen or so, you'll see the movie where the idea that the sun's flaring like crazy. Uh, the blue kind of hides a lot of the flare. I mean, you'll see the flares, but the idea that it hides a lot. So the red one shows you and pretty much emphasizes the flares. This you can see from the time lapse is the idea how much fast stuff moves in and out up there by the sun, okay? Stars rise and fall, V's blink in and blink out, suns and the supergiants rise and set. That's why Rigel Cantaris B is an interesting one and maybe even may, may be a dying star since it's only 77% of the sun. Now check all these, that comet action that's coming across there. And basically also V action, not just comets possibly so you got bam 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 that one pretty much looks like one of the V's and I would suggest that that one is too but that one really does kind of look like a comet that's that time on that one so we scroll through here see so the idea that a lot of stuff that's going on in space is now much more widely known now bleeds out uh, Science teachers ain't going to teach you in school, it seems like, and they don't teach history much in school anymore, it seems like, sounds like from the kids. They only want to teach them what they want them to know. So there's another comet or V action over there. And this stuff blinks in and out as you see the time clock quite fast. Within a few minutes, six minutes here and there, and you have a different 
window, different frame, different picture, different look up there. Awesome shot of the day. All the legal disclaimer.